The basic conflict that underpins our laws of nature is revealed by the inconsistency between the two pillars of contemporary physics. General relativity known as the physics of big bodies, and the physics of the small known as the quantum mechanics. The majority of physicists anticipate that the counterintuitive strangeness of quantum physics will endure at the tiniest scales as we delve deeper into the structure of reality. But in those conditions there is an unmistakable clash between quantum mechanics and classical gravity. Quantizing gravity. Shaping it in accordance with the principles of quantum mechanics, scientists have attempted to produce a coherent theory for the better part of a century. The research for finding the theory of gravity that can work at small scales, it has been a focus of research in the latest decades. It is believed that a hybrid theory may be the key in studying these quantum classical hybrid theories, many expect to uncover a deeper theory that is neither strictly classical nor strictly quantum. The forces that govern the universe are described by physicists in terms of fields that change across space and time. But we can learn about the geometry and curvature of space-time itself only from gravity, which is the only factor that adequately captures the universal backdrop geometry in which we exist. Although the theory of gravity has successfully withstood all observational and experimental tests conducted in the past century, it is important to note that general relativity is not the definitive explanation for gravity. Although general relativity has provided a comprehensive explanation for all gravity observations such as gravitational waves and the proximity of black holes, the investigation is still ongoing. The most effective theory of quantum mechanics relies on this space-time backdrop structure, but we lose that background structure if we genuinely think that gravity is quantized. It's possible that wavy space-time explains why gravity defies quantum mechanics. According to a novel idea, the reason why physicists have been unable to reconcile quantum physics and general relativity for a century is that large fluctuations in space and time prevent gravity from obeying quantum laws. Rather than being founded on absolutes, any quantum theories rely on probabilities. For instance, it is impossible to pinpoint the precise location of a quantum particle when measuring it but it is possible to estimate the probability that it will be discovered in a given area. Furthermore, you are less certain of a particle's momentum the more convinced you are of its location. The quantization of gravity is one of the outstanding challenges in theoretical physics. All other fundamental forces of nature like electromagnetism, weak nuclear force, and strong nuclear force have been successfully described, but gravity still remains elusive in this regard. There are several reasons why gravity may not easily lend itself to quantization. In quantum field theory, renormalizability is a property that ensures that the theory remains predictive and meaningful at all energy scales. However, when attempting to quantize gravity using conventional methods such as perturbative quantum field theory, one encounters severe ultraviolet divergences that cannot be consistently removed through renormalization. This suggests that gravity may require a fundamentally different approach to quantization. Unlike the other fundamental forces which act within the framework of space-time, gravity is the force that shapes the very structure of space-time itself. Quantizing gravity requires reconciling the discrete, the quantized nature of quantum mechanics with the continuous geometry of space-time. This challenge this ever-going search has led to the exploration of alternative theories of quantum gravity such as string theory and loop quantum gravity. These proposes new frameworks for understanding the fundamental nature of space-time. As a result, experimental tests of quantum gravity are far more challenging to perform than experiments in other areas of physics. The lack of direct experimental evidence for quantum gravitational effects complicates efforts to develop and test theories of quantum gravity. Unification with other forces, a complete theory of quantum gravity should ideally unify gravity with the other fundamental forces in a single coherent framework called theory of everything. Achieving such unification requires not only quantizing gravity, but also understanding its relationship with the other forces at energy scales where they are expected to behave differently. Despite these obstacles, 
Physicists continued to pursue the quantization of gravity through various approaches like string theory, loop quantum gravity, and causal dynamical triangulations, for example. While progress has been made in understanding certain aspects of quantum gravity, a complete and experimentally verified theory remains elusive. However, in their attempt to quantize gravity, physicists encountered strange infinities that required awkward mathematical maneuvers to get around. The issues stem from the fact that gravity is not an external force acting upon space-time. Instead, it is a product of space-time itself. It follows that space-time is quantized if gravity is quantized, but that doesn't work since you cannot add and then evolve quantum states on top of an uncertain basis because the quantum theory only makes sense against a classical space-time background. Two groundbreaking hypotheses have shaped our basic knowledge of the laws of physics governing the cosmos since the early 1900s. Quantum physics explains the physics of the minuscule, illuminating the interactions and laws governing elementary particles like electrons and photons. On the other hand, general relativity explains the universe at enormous scales, including how planets orbit stars, how stars can collapse and form black holes, and how galaxies group together to form the biggest structures in the universe. These two hypotheses, general relativity and quantum mechanics, have become increasingly successful since their inception, strengthening science in the process. The study of quantum physics has revealed that the quantum world is full of paradoxical elements, such as the simultaneous presence of systems in opposing states, or particles, that instantly affect one another, even when they are at opposite ends of the universe. The discovery of general relativity has shown that matter actually shapes the space-time itself, and that violent collisions between massive objects can produce gravitational waves, which are space-time waves that can travel billions of light years before reaching us. Most theorists turn to string theory, which postulates that substance and space-time originate from small, vibrating strings to resolve this profound conceptual problem. A smaller group investigated loop quantum gravity, which substitutes a network of interlocking loops for Einstein's general relativity smooth space-time. In both views, these essentially quantum building pieces somehow give rise to our familiar, classical reality. Originally, majority of the theoretical physicists subscribed to the string theory, which holds that quantum mechanics is the most important theory. They quickly grew uneasy with the intricate mathematical tricks they were pulling to solve the black hole information paradox, one of the most well-known issues in contemporary physics. The scientific community had long held that linking a quantum system with a classical one would result in contradictions, making it illogical for gravity to be classical. In quantum theory, measurement outcomes seem to be random. However, a large number of scientists would rather believe that what appears to be randomness is actually the interaction between the measuring device and the surrounding quantum system. They do not consider it to be a basic aspect of reality. Because the particles has mass, we should able to detect the gravitational field it produces. But gravity must be essentially random in order for a classical explanation of gravity to be consistent with everything else being quantized. Based on my best judgment, the next theory of gravity will be something altogether different, neither fully classical nor fully quantum. And the scientists can only create models that are close to the real thing, but to develop a fully coherent theory that describes the interaction between quantum systems and classical space-time is an effort to an ever closer approximation. It just required modifications to both classical general relativity and quantum theory to allow for the necessary collapse of predictability. The information paradox surrounding black holes is a starting point. If you think that black holes store information, you will face a paradox when you drop a quantum particle and then watch the black hole evaporate. According to standard quantum theory, every object thrown into a black hole must radiate out in a recognized but jumbled manner. However, general relativity states that you can never know about objects that cross the event horizon of a black hole. And that is what this contradicts. 
There won't be a contradiction if the black hole evaporation process is indeterministic. Predictability falls down, and we never find out what was flung into the black hole. It's safe to use general relativity. Nonetheless, one of the main ideas of quantum physics is information conservation, and many theories find it difficult to accept losing this. In the last few decades, nearly everyone came to the conclusion that black hole evaporation is deterministic. Measuring the gravitational field's strength won't always yield the same result if there is randomness present as in quantum classical hybrid theories. Even the Cavendish experiment that determines the gravitational force between two lead spheres will cause the gravitational field to fluctuate because there is gravitational noise in any theory where gravity is considered classical. Even the finest experiments already have a lot of jitter because gravity is such a weak force. Experiments that search for entanglement mediated by the gravitational field are proposed. Since entanglement is a quantum phenomenon, testing the quantum nature of gravity would be straightforward. While quite intriguing, these tests are most likely decades away. A difficulty looms over these fields of study despite the advancement of these two pillars of physics, scientists are still unable to close the gap that separates them.